Um, it was a uh, it was good um, good first scrimmage. Um, you know, good being able to get out on the uh, on uh, Bobby Bowden Field there at Doak Campbell Stadium. It was a uh, you know definitely uh, um, you know great great to see our guys get out and compete. You know, I thought uh, you know, all in all the defense was. Uh, was really fun around. You know, did a good job. Um, you know, had a lot of explosive plays. I thought the defensive front set the tone. Um, you know, there was uh, there was you know, some mistakes that were made. You know, on both sides of the ball. Um, you know, we had ACC officials here today, and you know, there were too many penalties. Um, you know, got to get continue to emphasize the the technique and fundamentals. You know, it, every time it seemed that there would be an explosive play offensively, there was, uh, you know. Something that you know that that happened, you know, either either at the point or or even away from the point of contact. Then, you know, we got to get cleaned up. And um, you know, but it was a great great first experience for uh, for 19 guys uh, that are new to the program. You know, a lot of guys that uh, um, you know were able to kind of put on display. You know, you know the, the strides that they're making and uh, you know the improvements that's that uh, uh, that's taken place. You know, within the program. And uh, you know, I thought it was I thought it was a good work day. The offense responded, you know, towards the towards the back half of the of the of the scrimmage. Uh, we were able to, you know, connect on some plays. We were able to, you know, have a couple, uh, um, you know, you know, scoring drives. I mean, I thought, uh, you know, all in all, it was a good, you know, a good back and forth there, uh, you know, throughout. But you know, defense was definitely uh, uh, dominant through the uh, the majority of of the scrimmage. And so, um, you know, some. Good individual performances that I thought showed up. It was good to see all you know the quarterbacks. You know Jordan. You held Jordan. Uh, you know out today. I thought all you know really all the quarterbacks. You know, um, you did a good job of of operating. You know there's some some things that we'll get to go back and watch and see. Uh, just when it comes to read, when it, you know ball placement. Uh, you know just the over, overall management of the offense. But I think it was pretty balanced in in rep count. Uh, you know AJ and Tate. Um, you've got the majority of the of the one you know the ones reps. You know. Uh, um, you know, as we're bringing Brock Brock along, you know, he got a lot of reps. You know, was mixed mixed in with the twos and, and some with the third group. Uh, but I thought he did a really good job. I was impressed with you know how he operated and you know the things he was able to do. Um, you know, it was uh, definitely definitely good to see. Uh, you know, I thought you know offensively a couple couple guys that have been making you know making plays. You know, you know Dre Jacobs had a couple big plays. You know, today I think he's continuing to um, you know excel in a, in a very short time. You know, since he's been here. Uh, Rodney Hill looked great today. You know, you know, CJ Campbell had a big run. I mean, it was it was good to see some of those young backs that uh, uh, you know you know really kind of step up and, and rise to the, rise to the occasion. Um, you know, with the opportunities they're they're providing, like I said, defensively, the defensive front uh, was really uh, were doing a nice job. Saw the linebackers flying around. Um, you had some guys that uh, you know made some great plays on the perimeter. I think uh, you know, Jerry Jones had an interception. Um, you know, a lot of uh, com competitive and uh, enforced, you know, contested, uh, you know, uh, you know, attempted catches or catches that you know, there even throughout. I mean, guys were were in good position and, and definitely battling. But um, you know, all in all, good first scrimmage. You know, a lot of things, a lot of uh, good tape that we're going to be able to take, uh, you know, from that and uh, continue to push as we jump into this next week and going to get better. Hey Mike, with regards to the offensive line, I know you said the defense and the defensive line kind of set the tone, but how did the O-line groups do as they're getting more gel and work together? Well, I mean, it was uh, it was good. We had a couple guys that um, it were held out today, you know, up front, and so. Uh, uh, for der various reasons, a couple a couple guys that just you know, banged up a little bit, but um, so we had some some different uh, you know, sequences and and who was going with with which group, but um, you know, I thought there were some some good things um, that were done. There were there were some some. You know, holes created in the run game is some solid uh, uh, you know, at times where we were, we were you know, solid in protection. But, uh, you know, like I said, there was just too many too many negatives in, in regards to, uh, you know, a couple holding calls that, uh, you know, wh whether they're the tight ends, I mean, that um, that hurt us on, on a couple of plays. And uh, those are things that we could absolutely get better and, and, and improve upon. But, um, you know, it was it was good for us to uh, to get that work, but I think the guys, you know, they're I mean they're continuing to to gel, um, continuing to, to improve, and so I thought it was a, a solid performance. Uh, next question will be Irish Rafael. You mentioned Rodney Hill. Um, one of the I think it was Trey Benson, one of the other running backs, said earlier that like Rodney just had to learn to kind of trust himself. Uh, after freshman year, and, and have you seen him kind of take that jump to where he's kind of asserting himself? Yeah, you know, I thought today was one of his best days of just, 
you know, being confident in, in all things within the play and it's alignment, you know, the, the finer details, you know, his tracks, um, you know, he is a special, a special mover. I mean, he has a, he has a special knack to, you know, to make people miss, you know, obviously if he gets the open field, he's got, you know, a game changing, you know, acceleration. Um, you know, he had, he showed that put on a display here today. Um, but, you know, I, I just, I like the way, you know, I, I was in the middle of the field all day. So I just kind of wanted to get a sense of, you know, how guys were operating. And he was one of them that coming into the day, I just wanted to sense, get a sense of, you know, you know, what was his confidence? How was he in, in the play calls and the things that, that he needed to do? And, and that was that was the thing I was most pleased with. And, you know, the performance and, you know, success that, he'd, that he had was uh, was great. But, I mean, it was him being able to take control of, you know, the, the where and, and what to do in, the, in that moment. And then, you know, obviously did a really nice job of, of making plays happen when he got the ball in his hands. No, I mean I think it's a, a very talented and, and deep group that's uh, that's competing, you know, at, at a high level, and it you have to in, in that group. Uh, you know, I thought guys, uh, you, you know, did a really solid job. I think you know most of them all had a catch. Uh, you know, Kyle had a couple couple really good plays. Um, you know, I know Jaheim, you know, was is. Like he is just a very explosive and, and you know, dynamic mover. Uh, I love the, th the improvement I'm seeing with him and just the physicality uh, of the game and you know understanding you know all the things where that he can do within this offense. I mean he's really um, I think he's grown a lot in the last you know si now six practices. Um, you know Mark Easton's continuing to get better. You know you know. Um, you do you see that group and your know, Brian Courtney you know, was doing good things I mean Preston Daniel you know, was a little limited today so um, but um, you know when, anytime you have guys you know being able to get into into you know that many you know you know names where you know they're all fighting for a uh, for an opportunity they're all fighting for, to, to kind of define their role and what it can be but it's it's definitely a fun group to to watch and coach because I mean they're they're competing um, and they're performing you know at a high level you know there's some things in the run game we got to get cleaned up uh, today like I said there's a couple holding calls that uh, you can't have but uh, you know the, the guys are definitely working hard. Mike, you mentioned Brock a little bit in the opening statement. This seemed like his first really expansive, you know, live kind of action. I guess how, how did he look and and how did he handle himself or just kind of deal with the. I guess the speed of, of the game in his first go around in the scrimmage. No, it was good, and uh, like like all first you know first time quarterbacks, I mean, he was live today, and so I mean it was a game for him, and you know you got to see um, you know his elusiveness, his athleticism. I mean he you know, all all things got put on display today, and you know he is like the maturity that he brings to the field, you know, for still being a high school, you know, senior. I mean, it was, it was impressive. And uh, you made some really good throws. Uh, you put the ball in a good spot, made some, made some throws that he's going to have to learn from. And, uh, you know, obviously just you know, trust in progression and some of the decisions, but that's all, all to be expected in the first scrimmage. But for, for him to come out and operate the way that he did, um, you know, very intelligent, you know, and, and the, comp the composure that he brought to the field uh, was something that I was, I was impressed with. Hey, Mike, you talked about the, uh, the defensive front. I'm wondering who from, who from that group really impressed you today. And, I mean, what was it like seeing the, the depth of that group kind of in that scrimmage setting for the first time? You know, I mean, it's uh, there were a lot of guys. I mean, a, a lot of guys that, that definitely flashed. I mean, um, you know, I've been pleased, I mean, you know, going through even just throughout the course of the week. I mean, Fabian made a couple of really good plays. You know, he was we tried to limit him on just overall count today, but um, it was good to see him out there and, and competing and, and pushing. Um, you know, really all all that defense that defensive tackle group. I mean, you look at you know, you know Daryl Jackson, Josh Farmer, uh, Dennis Briggs. I mean, those guys. Um, you know, really did a did a nice job. Daniel Lyons, I saw him flash a few times. You know, the defensive ends uh, really were were competing. Uh, you know, Patrick Payton, you I, I think he's you know probably been one of the most improved guys. Um, you know, within this team, you know, in the first six practices, and he is embracing um, you know all aspects of what it is to play defensive end. I mean, we know the, the pass rush ability that he has. Really trying to fight um, and um, trust technique in the run game. Um, you know. Obviously, Jared was somebody that you, you felt his presence. Um, you know, it was good for Gilbert to be able to get out there. Byron Turner, some guys, 
you know, that are, are all pushing and, you know, trying to trying to define a role as they're competing together. So, uh, yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was good. It wasn't, it wasn't, wasn't all great. Um, but, you know, there was a, there a lot of things that we're going to be able to learn from. And, you know, really that, that entire defensive front is very, very competitive and uh, you're excited to, to watch them continue to grow. Mike, what are the benefits after a first scrimmage for the team in the sense of maybe changing expectations or understanding what they have to work on as you guys focus on the last nine practices? Yeah, well, the, the expectations won't change. You know, that's it, it's going to be you know our expectations improvement. I mean, you know, whether they you know, a guy went out and just had the best scrimmage in the world, um, I expect him to be better. You know, come Tuesday, and you know, there's still the the finer details of of where the of what they're doing and how they're doing it. And then we you know, we got to continue to push the tempo. It's been a big point of emphasis here this week. Um, you know, I thought there were some good moments, and then there was times where we were that we. I mean, slow down, and that that's going to happen on a first scrimmage. You don't have coaches on the field. Uh, you've got to really go through and, and just making sure that your communication is on point. So, um, you know, there was a few procedural issues that we've got to that we got to clean up. And uh, but um, you know, the expectation for everybody, whether you whether you came out and you didn't perform the way you wanted to, or whether you, like I said, whether you did, it's about going to get better. And uh, you know, you know, each day we got to capitalize on with every every practice and the, the scrimmages that are behind that. Are in front of us, uh, you know. It's it's about showing that improvement as a team, um, you know. But starting with the, the individual techniques and and the things that we can control. With um, with some people like the offensive line transfers, those are guys that have played a ton of football. So this is the first time you've seen them in a kind of a game situation since they've been here. Was there anything that you didn't expect, or was it pretty much what you expected from them? No, I mean, it, and you know. Guys that play for, I mean, it's still, it's still learning new languages. You know, there's certain techniques, certain things that we that we expect, and how we do things that might have been different than than what they've done before. So, you know, the experience of being on the field is is one thing, and it's and it's good. You see that in how guys work. But what I love about scrimmage is now it's now now you got to apply it, and you got to apply it at a at a very fast you know fast rate and. Uh, you know, we're challenging you know, guys, you know, Casey Roddick's playing a lot of center, um, you know, throughout this spring, you know, we want to be able to, to, you know, have that, have that competition, but also, you know, just be able to, to have that depth as well. But, you know, he's also getting reps at guard, um, you know, moving him, moving him around, you know, Jeremiah Byers, you know, it's, uh, you're doing a lot of good things. I like what I'm seeing him and KJ both are, um, you know, they're, they're all very talented players, but now you're learning an entire new language, and it's the application, it's the speed. Um, you know, we do have a good defensive front, and, uh, you know, I think that's one thing that all three of those guys appreciate, you know, what they have to go against uh, you know, every day, and it's pushing pushing them to get better, but, uh, you know, also, you know, having to, to become more uh, detailed and more confident in the things we're asking them to do. Uh, it's all, all part of their process. Mike, you've got a, a really experienced group, a lot of veterans coming back this year. How much does that benefit you guys in these kind of scrimmages where both these guys kind of know what you they're expected from them, what you guys expect from them? How much does that kind of benefit them in this time? I mean, I think it's all. I think it's all good. It happens. It, it benefits us in practice, you know, in, in, in scrimmages. Um, you know, there's some. Uh, you know, we got to get to experience a little bit of a, a little bit of rain today and some some adversity that uh, you know that. It was coming, you know, throughout. I try to, you know, I try to create that as much as possible, um, and so they understand it. I don't want it, I don't ever want anybody to be comfortable, uh, you know, as we're going out there. I mean, life's not comfortable most of the time. So, um, for us, it's it's about trying to continue to challenge ourselves, even with the returning guys, but then also for them to help the young guys in in. You know, quickly transitioning to under to to the expectation and how we're going to operate, what we're going to do, because uh, we do have 19 newcomers, and that's a you know that's something that's a that's a big part of our team, and um, you know guys that got their first work, you know they're you know you know out there on the field today. Coach, I was wondering if was Jordan kind of hanging around you most of the scrimmage and. Well, the guys out there performing that are used to playing with Jordan, him not being there, uh, might be you know a little bit of a letdown for those guys. But how dialed in and, and what sort of effort did you see from everybody, despite the fact that the number one quarterback wasn't largely you know performing? Uh, no, I mean Jordan was there on the sideline. You know, I wanted to uh, kind of have him in a position where you know he he had a chance to talk with you know with those quarterbacks, what he was seeing, what he was what he was doing, to be able to encourage others. Um, 
you know, that's, that's you, know, you want everybody to always be available. All right, that is yeah, something we desire, but that's not always the reality. And so, um, you know, you got to have an opportunity to go out there and compete. And with the guys that could go, um, you know, it was it was uh, your time to go show up. And you know, obviously, we made we made Jordan you know unavailable today. Uh, you know, he's been practicing at, at, at you know, I think an elite level at an elite level. Uh, you know, throughout the first five practices. So I mean, it was good for him to get a little bit different different perspective. You know, it was good to you know see those those other guys get you know close to 40 reps between 30 and 40 reps apiece. And um, you know, it was. It was good, and so uh, the, the the guys around you doesn't doesn't really matter who's taking the snap. You better go out there and, and play your best. So um, you know, that's 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 the challenges that, were, that are put in front, and um, you know what we did. Trying to introduce Logan Robinson from their game day. Hey, Coach uh, Montrevious had a good start to spring camp. Also, Hakeem, how did they look in the first scrimmage today? You know, they were good. I mean, like like I mentioned, Dre um, Dre made some big plays. You know, scored a touchdown. Um, you know, had a couple of explosives that showed up. You know, still some some things that he's got to continue to uh, to improve upon. But I mean, the, it, it's definitely not too big for him. And uh, you know, I, I love just his playmaking ability, the way he competes. Um, you know, I, I, I talked about him earlier in early in the week. Uh, you know, just at, at the post practice. Um, you know, he's. He's what we thought we were getting, and uh, we thought we were getting one of the best receivers in the country. And I, I think he's um, he's going to have a chance to be really, really a special player as his career you know progresses. You know what that looks like right now is going to be based upon what he does. And um, you know, um, but I'm I'm definitely excited about that. Hakeem made a couple early plays, uh, which was good to see him. Um, you know, also you know, just it's just the the consistency of. Uh, of all things, and that's Dre, it's McKeem, basically any one of the 19 newcomers, they all, uh, you know, they're all learning on the run, and especially the 10 guys coming from high school. I mean, it's it's all new to them, but uh, it, he's he, he definitely shows uh, the ability. He's, you know, he shows the want to. And all. I mean, he's got great, you know, he's got a great work ethic and a very smart young man. Um, you know, I'm excited about both those guys and what their future is going to be. But it was, uh, you know, definitely good to see them out there making plays. You have a lot of experience in the secondary, but you also have some guys in new roles and some some newcomers. I was wondering how the secondary, how you thought about how they played. No, I thought they did well, and uh, you know there were there were. Uh, you know some really good plays that showed up, I and mean, they're good in coverage. You know there was a. Uh, um, you know, good opportunities to show them, and you know for them to show up in the run game and the passing game. Um, you know they. Uh, that is a confident group, and because you, like you said, a lot of guys that have played. Um, you know, at a high level for us, but then you know, also trying to to have them move around a little bit, and you know, with, uh, with Kevin Knowles, you know, being out for the spring. I mean, you know, I've been, I think one of the guys that's you know, probably been one of the early stars of uh, of spring has been uh, you know, Greedy Vance. You know, he's played at a at a very high level uh, just you know, throughout it. But we're also being able to take a different different looks. Like we putting him at you know nickel some. He's playing corner some. You know, I think uh, you. Uh, Jerrion Jones, um, Azari, a, uh, Bernardo Green. I mean, all those guys are were, were able to move around and you know just try different different sequences. Whether it's nickel, corner, uh, field boundary. I mean, it's um, it's a good group. Uh, I'm really pleased with the way that our safeties are are uh, you know, elevating their game. I mean, uh, uh, Mario Cooper's done a really nice job in his transition. I think uh, you know, he's building in his confidence. You know, I, I really like what I see there. Um, you know, Cheyenne Brown was was back as, as as much as he's been available here this spring as we've kind of been been able to get him back in the in the fold. Um, you know, uh, KJ Kirkland's a, another newcomer. Um, you know that I, I really like a, a lot. You know, um, you know Quindarius. You know, Jones is another. I mean, both of those guys. We're very excited about what they've shown in six practices. Um, you think they've got really bright futures. Fentrell has been a great addition to our team. The competition, the mindset. Um, you know, he's a he's a talented young man. Made some good plays today too. So it was a all in all, it was a really good performance by our defensive backfield. Uh, but still, some things that we're going to got to continue to work on and just overall communication as as those guys are in different places. All right, thanks, coach. I thank you guys. Have a great one.